Welcome back to our channel. Yeah, where are we today, Sam? We are at the American Dream Mall. Yeah, you weren't even coming to me last time. I wasn't. It yeah. is a really beautiful mall from what I can see already. It's very big. Uh, and we're actually in a section that wasn't here last time I was here. It's actually a little TikTok area where you can take the ultimate dream vacation TikToks and uh, sit in these big chairs over here. Uh, we don't use TikToks. Yes. We're not TikTokers. We're a little too, I feel like too old. I don't yeah. Know. But uh, what are we going to, what's on the agenda for today, Sam? I think right here behind us, the Angry Bird mini golf. Yeah. Not so mini golf. <laughs> and yeah. maybe check out the food court. Yes, I'm actually hungry right now. So. Yeah, probably going to check out the food court yeah. first. Let's go get some something to eat. Uh, I want to show Sam around too, see what she thinks of all the, the different happenings they have here, like the DreamWorks Water Park and Nickelodeon Universe. They're not going to go in the parks. So I just want Sam to check them out and see what she thinks. Maybe buy me something. Oh, oh maybe. All right. <laughs> all right, let's uh, join us for our day here in American Dream. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, he's getting near the It's Sugar area. They have this DreamWorks Water Park merchandise area. You got little lawns. They have trolls merchandise. Let's see what they have in the back. The Natal, they have Madagascar, DreamWorks Water Park, and an array of other towels and small hand towels here at the bottom. Beware of Ogre. Remember that from Shrek? Some more DreamWorks shirts. And here's Donkey. And Here's Shrek. There's Donkey and Shrek. They have these How to Train Your Dragon merchandise with How to Train Your Dragon shirts, water bottles, and How to Train Your Dragon towels. So you can see the Trolls towels and the Trolls toys as well. It kind of just repeats down there at the end. So we found out today that the food court's on the third floor. I, was on, I don't know which floor it was on. This is a huge mall. Yeah, it's easy and to get lost. We have here. passed like four coffee places just <laughs> trying to get to the food court. Yeah, if you like coffee, there's a lot of coffee Seriously, options. Seriously, there's a lot of coffee. We found this cool sign behind us. Seems what we are. relatable. Yes, booty, and we're about to eat, so let's try to find this food court. <laughs> All right, so we finally found the food court. Uh, they don't have a lot of things open right now. They do have a ramen noodle place, which is interesting. They have this Cajun grill, and then they have this Latin grill. Sam's going to try out the Cajun grill. I'm going to get some of the Latin grill, and then I think we'll mix and match and see which one we like best. We might try the noodle place, too, before we head out. This is a picanha steak. This is Brazilian picanha steak. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is cup chicken, grit, pork, lechon. White fish, it is Brazilian white fish. White fish? Yeah, chicken breast. Inside, there's plantain, fries, vegetables, mashed potato, black beans. Wow. This is rice, yellow rice, egg, white rice. Wow, that's great. Yeah, then you take the rice, black beans, and it's up the street. Yeah. Yeah, only for today, the excellent day, excellent combo. Oh, awesome, thank excellent you, sir. Day. Happy New Day. You too. All right, I think we lucked out, right, Sam? Really yeah, no, let's, uh, let's show you what we got. I got the Latin grill, she got the Cajun grill. So this is Brazilian steak. Underneath it is pork, yellow rice and beans, and, and some uh, plantains. So this looks really good. And they also come with these sauces, which is, uh, this is a spicy mayo. I think this is like a salsa. And I don't know what this is, but apparently they say it's good with the steak. And I'll show you what Sam's is. So I went to the Cajun grill and I got the combo with the chicken and two sides. So I picked the bourbon chicken, fried rice, potatoes and then this is yum yum sauce whatever that may be and then this is a spicy yum yum sauce and i also got a little chicken roll i can get it out chicken roll this stuff looks so great it smells really good yeah all right let's try it out okay so i'm gonna cut this steak first Looks like good meat. Yeah, no, they ask you if you want it, like how you want the steak cooked too. Well, they I should. It's so hard to cut though. Switch all the rice underneath it. You're also using plastic, so. Yeah, no. It's gonna cause an issue. Oops. I'm trying to get this. There we go. Alright, I'll hold it off. 
How much was it? It was like nineteen dollars. Oh wow. But that's a good steak. Yeah. And this is the pork from Chuck Pork. Okay, you got two meats. Yeah. We got one meat, it's probably like five bucks left. Plantain. It's good. <laughs> I'm going at eight. Tastes good though. Right. I feel like this was like a safe bet. Good. Yeah, try a little bit of that sauce. It's funny because they have all these sauces at the end. I'm like, oh, what is that? And I'm like, oh, yum yum. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, it's good. Really? It's these forks. How's that? Let's see how that potato is. I've already had one, so I already. Oh, yeah. Are they good? They have like a really nice seasoning on them. I don't know if you can like see it. That's how the steak was. It had like a really not, good seasoning. It was like standard. What would you give it? I would give it an eight. Oh, wow. That's Would it be two eights? If five is like average. Oh, okay, well, this I think was like eleven dollars. The yeah. combo was eight ninety nine. Then I added on a little chicken roll. Let's see what this is. Uh... Oh yeah, let's see how that looks in the middle. Mm. It's like a chicken egg roll. Five. Yeah. It's not my favorite. Egg roll is probably what like a five standard. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's finish up our meal, and then we'll let you guys know what we think. I'm very full. There was a lot of food. I ate everything, too. Yeah, me too. It was good, though. I was going to try having the Pora, uh, that's the name of actually the ramen spot, Pora noodles, but there's no way I'm going to do that. I'll have to come back and do another video. I am going to show you each of the different restaurants that are currently open here at American Dream Mall in the food court. And maybe we'll try to find a little coffee. One of the yeah. little, little coffee spots they have in here. I feel like there's not that much open in comparison to how big this yes, is. Yes, yes. It's not a huge thing. I think with one of the issues too is that there's limited traffic due to COVID. So they're holding off on opening a lot of places here. But we will show you what is open. Um, and I think we had one of the more original options. A lot of these other places are chain restaurants and Pora would probably be another original option. That's a ramen noodle place. So we'll show you each of the open spots here in the food court. Um, yeah, check it out. All right, you can see there's Charlie's cheesesteaks. That was what was right behind us. And then right down there, Cajun Grill and Latin Grill. It's a little close. All right, there's Cajun Grill. You can see all the stuff they have right up there at the front. And they have their little uh, dishes right up there at the top. It looks more like a traditional Asian type of fusion restaurant. You can see it in them all. And this right here is Latin Grill. Um, I really enjoyed this. They have a Brazilian steak. They have chicken, pork, french fries, plantains. A lot of cool, fun things that you can find here. They also have a chicken quesadilla, it looks like. They have seafood. They have white fish. Uh, yeah, it was very good. Next to Latin Grill is Ichi Japan. Looks like it's not open yet. And then right next to Ichi Japan, yes, your traditional Taco Bell, which usually is one of the most popular spots in a food court, but it looks like this Taco Bell. Well, maybe people are waiting for the potatoes to come back. Yes. Yes, we did actually did a whole video yeah. on all their missed items. I'm really missing the Mexican pizza myself. I'm missing the Doritos Cool Red Shell. Yeah. All right, Pete. All right. Yeah, no, um, usually see more people here, but one Lawson customer. All right, we just walked past Taco Bell. Uh, over here, they have a little seating area. Ooh, it actually looks and like... Also, there are USBs and plugs. Yes. The yes, and sinks. I'll show them the sinks. Look, you get a nice shot of the water park over here. Oh, wow. The slide coming out of the building. This is right next to the Taco Bell. And here are some sinks so you can wash your hands. It's great for COVID. Next to the sinks is Popeyes. I still need to try that spiced chicken sandwich. People tell me it's amazing. 
but this one is not open yet. Looks like it will be opening soon though. Looks like it's about ready. Move past to the right of Popeyes and you'll find a Wendy's. Looks like those pretzel buns. Wendy's looks like it's popular. popping. Yeah, that is popping right now. And this is the ramen noodle place I was talking about, Bora. I really, I really want to check this out. Yeah, look, this is fun. Yeah, this was my second option if I wasn't, if I didn't get the Cajun. Yeah, we definitely got to come back and try this one day. Hopefully it's not too far from us. Oh, Sam's trying some more stuff. Oh, look, here's all the different options. They have a like little gyoza there at the bottom. I'm oh, sorry, we can so Oh, sure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. There's the menu right there. It's like a little disposable menu. I think we messed up. Yeah, no. Oh, we... This would have been a lot lighter, actually. But I think that it was good that we each got to try something different. Yeah, we definitely got to come here next time. Now this is like a whole big panoramic shot of the food court that is on the third floor here. And right to the left of where we're walking, the left of Charlie's Philly Cheese Steaks, is haagen -Dazs. That's pretty much all the spots they have up here. And there's food scattered about in the mall as well. On the second level, they have a vegan ice cream shop because a life without anything good is bad. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And they also have a pizza place. Show the pizza place. This is the pizza spot. It's called Best Pizza, right Sam? Yeah, Best Pizza. Which I feel like are strong words considering you're right outside New York City. Over here. But one day we'll have to try it. On the first level, they also have a Wetzel's Pretzels and a Red Mango Frozen Yogurt. Oh, the Red Mango also has Power Bowls or Acai or a Bowls or Acai Bowls? Acai. Acai Bowls. Yes. They have this uh, Moss Gnome area. It has little Valentine's Day decorations on it, if you guys want to see. Yeah, and there's Valentine's decorated Christmas trees. Fun. Right before you get to the ice skating rink, they have this, I should remind you directly, Little Rock chocolate sous, sous, sous chef area. Let's see what they have inside. You definitely smell the chocolate. See all these different truffles that they have. Hello. I think there's chocolate bark over here. You can see the chocolate bark. Oh, that's blackberry chocolate bark. Like some of these have nuts in them. There's one with cornflakes in it, a glacier one. This is classic pure milk chocolate, and this is a Brazilian dark chocolate. And they have all different types all the way down there at the end. Different uh, nuts that are inside back there too. That's very nice in here. Definitely a lot of good options you can buy. We're next to Angry Birds Mini Golf, they have this cotton pop shop, giant cotton candy. And they have a Dunkin', as well as a bubble tea spot. You see Angry Birds right there. I think we're gonna get some Dunkin' and some coffee. What'd you get? I got um, ice toasted coconut extra charge. Ooh. I mean, it's 20% more caffeine. <laughs> we saw some other coffee shops, but you wanted something special, right? I wanted flavor. Yeah. I wanted some options. And they had that funfetti donut. Oh. I think we're gonna do a winter snack roll. Yes. And we'll try that then. We'll so I didn't that get next it. Week. I wanted to get it though. Yeah. I might try the bubble tea out before we leave. But we'll wait for you to finish that, then we'll try this Angry Birds spot out. Alright, Sam, you ready to head? You think Angry Birds, not so many golf? Not so many. Not so, I haven't played mini golf in like 10 years, I don't think. Yeah, I don't even know that. <laughs> we always wanted to do the one at Universal. But well, we never have time. Never have time, yeah. Today we've made time. Yes. We drive to New Jersey. <laughs> To play mini golf. We were, gonna, we were thinking about doing the water park, but a lot of money Saturday. So let's try this mini also golf out. Water park pandemic. Yes, yes. Let's try out the mini golf. Alright, just so you know, it's about $42. There's a lot of people behind us, so we're gonna get started. <laughs> I guess so. We don't know if we're even doing it right. <laughs> Oh, Sam almost got a hole in one. I guess our goal is to, this is the first hole to get in this hole. Not left hand. This is going to be a long game. Right, no! 
No, no, I'm just gonna put it in. Oh. That was three. Uh oh. Oh. All right, I got three, you got four in the first one. So far, I'm winning. So the first hole is next to this mountain. I don't know any of the, uh, what is, what is it called? Not, yes. What are they called? The, um, yeah, I don't know any of the Angry Birds stuff. So if you see it, say it in the comments. Easter eggs. The word I was thinking of is Easter eggs. We're still waiting for hole two, but hole one and two are next to this mountain with these like TNT boxes near us. So, yeah. It looks very interesting, but there are a lot of people in here. All right, Sam's gonna go first this hole. Oh. Oh, she was trying to. Oh. Oh. That's, that's our ball. <laughs> All right, I'll try next. Oh, you were close. Ah. Wow. Alright, so I got three, she got two, so we're both at six now, right? Yeah. Sure. Is a little tricky. It looks like it's easy, but then there's like that bump. Yes, and there's some friend there at the end. Yeah. yeah. Alright, Sam, let's see how you do. Oh. oh, oh, the bounce back would have been a good game, but it looks like it didn't work for you this time. All right, Sam, I think the goal of this one is to get it into that castle. It'll pop out the other side, and the hole is right behind Sam. Chance, yeah. <laughs> well, you got a little bit of a line drive to the hole now. Now, let me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let maybe me... I wanted to do that. <laughs> let me try it out. Oh, it's not that easy. Yeah, it's hard enough. Alright, we've given up on the house. Sam with those powerful swings. Oh, she got it right on the mound. <laughs> How does that even happen? Yeah, no. <laughs> Hole in three. You're at 18. I'm at, I hit it twice, so I'm at 12 right now. You can lie what number it is, I wouldn't know. <laughs> you can say I have 30 and I wouldn't know. sanitizer stations as you enter each area. I guess this is whole, I don't think this is whole seven. I just remember the boxes. This is very nice. Scenic Angry Birds mini golf. All right, so there's a bunch of mounds with this one. Up, up, oh, yeah, close. Nice, hole in two for Sam. Yes, so that puts you at 27. I'm at 19, but I haven't done this hole yet. Oh, I got close. Alright, so that puts me at 
All right, this one has a few little obstacles. It just goes around the corner, though. So you got to put it on the hole. There you go. Jeez, Sam. <laughs> Jeez, Sam. <laughs> you gotta hit out of the mound now. Alright, Sam missed me getting it in, so she's gonna have to make up for me. <laughs> oh, you got it very close though. You can knock that right in, Sam. Just hit it hard. Comes out one of these two. Oh, it came out that back then. We gotta get in this hole. A little bit past it. All right, we'll get it. There's big chicken for our next hole. I guess this is hole 10. Oh, well, now we're in an icy tundra, it looks like. I, I assume 18. I think it's 18. An icy tundra with this chicken. It's funny, it actually head. feels cold over here. Right? Yeah, it does feel a little cold. Like, I don't know if that's on purpose. Yeah, I like the theming. Oh, we're not going to film every hole, but it does feel cold over here, right? Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's not just us. And there's some radioactive danger over there. Oh man, that guy over there looks scary. That ice bird. Graduating. Yeah, that's graduation. We make it through here. We graduate. Yes. Okay. Angry Bird Academy. Yes. Let's try it out, Sam. Let's see if we're ready for graduation. This one definitely looks hard because of that mound. Oh, you got close to that time. This is like a hole in three for you. Just lob that in. A little tap. Just a little tap. A little tap. Hole in three. That was good for this one. This one's hard. Graduation. All right, Sam, this one has a little hill. Looks like just a line drive straight through. And has all these slingshots everywhere. The hole's right back there. The, the key. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I think they're just obstacles if you move off that line. But I think you got this one. A straight line. Are you playing real golf or mini golf, girl? 
It's hard. <laughs> You're doing good. Don't worry. You got that. That other one was hard. strength on that one. <laughs> huh? Sam's saying she's feeling like an angry bird. It's hot in this area. Yeah. It's like the tropical area. I guess the stress of like people are coming. Yeah. So they're a bigger party so they take their time. So then we're kind of stuck. They're trying to get space, but then yeah. behind us are kind it's of nice being able to enjoy the theming, but I think what would have fixed that is if they had a uh, like an appointment or yeah reservation system. I thought I saw that when I looked online. Yeah. But I feel like they're just. It's a free for all kind of, yeah. but I like the theme. If you enjoy Angry Birds, it seems like something interesting. But the holes really aren't that more that much more complicated than a standard mini golf. Yeah, well, like it's supposed to be for kids. <laughs> that is true. That is true. But I would like to see some more like thematics. You know what I mean? Uh, although we are getting up to this plane, so maybe that will uh, be the saving grace of this uh, mini golf course. So let's see how it, how it goes. As you can see, this is like the tropical area. So it's actually warmer in here, and there's the back of a plane right there. Sam's setting up for her drive. This one looks real complicated because there's a giant stone right in the middle. So I don't know how you're supposed to. Oh. Oh, Sam, you got. Oh, you got so close. <laughs> it's okay. This that's the game. That's the game. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I figured I had to try to line it. I didn't like All right, this is the final hole, hole 18, I Sam. <laughs> Just gotta get in a little pig snout and the ball's gone. Okay. <laughs> you hit it so hard. <laughs> I did it. It's you did gone. it, it's gone. All right, I gotta try, I'm gonna try to get in the snout. All right, we finished. We've walked out. We are now in the Angry Birds gift shop. Yes, Angry Birds gift shop. What did you think of Angry Birds mini golf, Sam? I thought it was cute, but like, if it's another ten years until I play mini golf again, I'll be okay. I'll be okay with that. Like, I like playing mini golf. This is not something more. I want to like. Yeah. Do on a regular basis. Um, if I would say it's like a five for me. Yeah. You want to it's like a standard mini golf course. If you enjoy Angry Birds, though, I'd say it's like a six. The theming is cute. I'm sure for kids, yes. they would love it. It's a lot of great picture spots, too. So if you have like a family, it's fun. I think that was $42 for, for us. For both of us, yeah. Yeah, so not the worst. Um, yeah, so let's see what it's they got in the, do. Yeah, let's see what they got in the gift shop here. See the plushes. Oh, they have their Angry, Gir Angry Birds mini golf t shirts. Oh, at American Dream. So you nice. can only get them here. White and red. Oh, well, there's a little riot. That looks like bird. me. <laughs> I'm angry. angry yeah. This is Angry Birds. Angry Sam. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> That's you playing the mini golf game. And there's some plushes there at the top. Some drinks, you know. You always gotta have some drinks. More plushes. Some water bottles. It smells like Cinnabon. Cause yeah, because there's a Cinnabon way. like oh right God, across the way. Smell it all. <laughs> I think I would have more fun at Cinnabon. <laughs> And they have some uh, apparel here. So a little kid. If you want if your babies love Angry Birds, I guess. Well, it's 50% off too. So if you want some 50% off merchandise, check out this area. More plushes at the top. I'm not sure if those are 50% off though. Standard Angry Birds keychains. Angry Birds watch. Angry Birds 2. There's movies? I didn't know they had Angry Birds movies. Oh, well, you can get your own mini golf ball. Oh, this is what I need. <laughs> And then some drink coolers. Oh, and some purses for uh, 
little okay. girls that like ang ang Angry Birds. Yeah, so that looks like all the merchandise they have here at the Angry Birds mini golf course. Uh, they have a whole beef jerky experience here at American Dream, so since they're doing food today and I am a big fan of beef jerky, I want to see what type of different stuff they have in here. So we're at these sticks. They have 10 for $25 or $2.99 each. They have uh, all different meats. This is a turkey. This is beef. Right here they have an alpaca. That's interesting. A Cajun. An original. Oh, an alligator stick. Pork and antelope. A dill pickle, I guess, flavored. A prime rib. Uh, and they have these boxes here at the bottom. Oh, and they have three samples. I actually really enjoy salmon jerky. And they have this pork and ostrich. Lots of salmon jerky. Oh, this venison. I never had venison jerky. That sounds interesting. Some bison. I might get the venison or the elk. I've never had beef jerky. You never had beef jerky in your life? No, I don't want to either. So <laughs> don't ask me. All right. It's very good. Jeez. Yeah, well, beef jerky can be expensive. I mean, Actually, that looks expensive. like a nice yeah. gift. For your jerky. Like, if you lover, were here, I was. Yeah, I would eat all of this. Very I actually salt. special order to do something. Oh. From that I is it not. beef jerky? No. Oh, okay. Better. <laughs> oh, that's good. Ooh, they, all this stuff looks good. Oh, they have crawfish jerky? Look at these very decorative and festive hot sauces. I feel like the McGuckins are the hot sauce. Skull. Yeah, our friends, the McGuckins. Oh, uh, this one, Satan's blood. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I want that either. No, not against hot sauce, but it seems pretty hot for me. I got a bunch of good hot sauces here. Oh, and there's some, uh, some nuts, too. Oh, wow, look. Crickets, Sam just pointed out. Is that real? Lots of them, yeah. No, some larvids. Real? Yeah, these are real crickets. You can, eat, you can eat crickets. But then they have, like, gummy sharks. Gummy sharks, scorpion peppers. I'm into gummy sharks, <laughs> if anyone's wondering. Oh, this is the hottest pepper in the world, right here. And I don't, I have no interest in eating that. Oh, and here's the Carolina Reaper. We get mild sauce on top of them. Like, I don't think we should be getting any of this. That looks good. Oh, look. They have peanut butter chocolate popcorn. This looks good. You love this. Chicago popcorn. All these look popcorns this are good. It's like fruit. Yeah. I might get one of these. Sam just pointed out it takes three pounds of beef to make one pound of jerky. Who knew? <laughs> well, they have bacon jerky, too. Which is pretty good. Although I just like normal bacon better. Some more Valentine's Day packs for your beef jerky lover. There's more beef jerky. I think I have some nuts too. Let me go find those nuts. All little Bunker Hill cheeses. Crunchy cheese crisps. All different flavors. You're actually supposed to store these at room temperature, it says. And then they have these different flavored nuts. Oh, there's a cheesecake flavored one. That sounds interesting. There's a butter rum. It's pretty butter rum, cinnamon, southern bourbon, toffee royale, chili lime gator toes, spicy. Are these real gator toes? And garlic. No, they're not real gator toes. I'm making garlic. Still, looks good. Sam couldn't resist. Oh look, they got it. Yeah, it smells really good. Ah, look at those cinnamon ones. That's warm. Ones. I'm gonna try. See, I accidentally got a second one, so I guess there's one for me now. So I'll, <laughs> so I'll have one. Sam, so what did you think of your first experience at the American Dream Mall? I thought it was a really nice mall, and there's so much to do. Yes. I didn't know there's like an ice skating rink, there's an indoor snow park. Yes, yeah. Like snowboarding, the water park, the theme park. There's golf. so much. And all we did was the mini golf. There's yeah. another mini golf course, I'm pretty sure, too. There's like a glow in the dark one. Yeah. So maybe, um, maybe I'll try that by myself one day, because oh. you weren't. Or do you want, did you like the mini golf? We'll it didn't seem like it was your favorite thing. <laughs> But uh, I did think if you're an Angry Birds fan, it's fun. 
I would give it a five. It really is just standard mini golf. There's yeah. really nothing that special or greatly themed about it, except for the fact that it's Angry Birds. Uh, the food was great. Yeah, and I can I can say from my last experience that I was here previously, it's a lot more kinetic than last time I was here. There's a lot more people here. It's a lot more packed. So if you see my previous video, uh, it doesn't have a proper reflection of the way the mall actually is right now. Although you, you would get a good idea of what the Nickelodeon University Park has to offer. And I feel like there's a lot more coming to this mall. There's so many yes. signs coming soon, coming soon. So yeah. It seems like a lot of things were delayed. Yeah, tons open. of food too. Like yeah. the food court we were in. So um, food, 8 out of 10. Mini golf, 5 out of 10. Angry Birds fan, I give it a 6 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>